Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carly. And I'm Edge. And today we're watching Attack on Titan Season 2, Episode 2. We met the Beast Titan last episode. Beast Titan, Monkey Titan. Wait, its actual name is Beast, isn't it? Well, that's what the episode said. But <laughs> I'm going to go with Hairy Titan. <laughs> Hairy Titan. I like it. I like right? it. Right? Easy to differentiate. Yeah. That way. Um, and we got a few revelations. It spoke. Yeah. It was controlling the Beta Titans. It wasn't willing to hurt anyone until they started going after him again. Yeah, because then Mike, unfortunately, went after him. After they said, what, what did they steal off him? Some of the gear? Yeah. The ODM gear? Yep. And uh, and then he ordered the Beta Titans to just eat him. And that was a gruesome death. That it was... was so gruesome. I think that's the most gruesome death I've seen it, so far yeah, on this show. That's up there. That's definitely up there. And he was one of the better fighters as well. Yeah. So that's no good. Because he's he was compared to Levi. I wonder what Levi would have done in that situation. Yeah, I, I don't think Levi would have been overcome with emotion too much in that situation. Mm. Judging by how we've seen him fight so far. It's quite calculated now. Yeah. So we think the hairy titan is Dr. Jaeger at the moment. And it was really interesting to see what he had to say too because he was really interested in the ODM gear and the sword and he gathered that the humans knew that um, someone resided in their name. So I guess the humans aren't the only ones collecting data on the titans but this titan based thing is collecting <laughs> data on the humans and what they know about the titans yeah true yep that's a good way to think about it then there are a few things that don't exactly add up as to why it would be dr yeager but he's right now the most probable yeah out of everyone i think yeah or it's someone we don't know that's yeah option two. yeah that could be an option i actually said at the end of last episode whether or not dr yeager had yellow eyes i went back and had a look to see if he does it's hard to tell what color his eyes are to be honest okay because they're kind of hidden like behind his yeah glasses and whatnot hat. and yeah. yeah so i don't know if i was off there but i'm going to disregard that but the part that doesn't quite add up for me is if he can control the beta titans and he's in control of this like whole operation why did he let his wife go and that whole that whole thing in episode one if he knows so much about all this and he can control the beta titans and whatnot doesn't add up to why he would just let his family go like that. And so for me, just like there are humans inside the wall who have different agendas and beliefs, that might also be the case outside of the wall with the Titans. Yeah. But right now, he's our most probable prediction for who the Beast Titan is or the yeah. Hairy Titan. Um, I'm sure we'll get a few more answers later on, but that episode was so good. So good. Very good. They, they saw the Titan in the wall at the start of the episode. Pastor Nick knows some stuff. Yep, shady guy. Yeah, Hanji lost it for a little bit there. Yeah, <laughs> but not really. She was just acting like she lost it. And Annie is still inside the crystallized thing or whatever she's got surrounding herself. Yeah, they kind of covered it up and put it away though. So that's kind of what I was saying last episode, how they might leave that for a little bit because we yep. got so much of Annie's story towards the end of last season. Yeah. So now we move on to the Beast Titan. This is great. I'm actually quite stressed going into this season because we do know it's a shorter season. There's only 12 episodes. I feel like they just, they're just going to hit us every single episode with like press. Well, episode one was magnificent. Very Loved stressful. it. Very stressful. When it started talking, <laughs> incredible. <laughs> Couldn't so believe good. it. Really good. But unfortunately, like you said, last episode, the information has died with Mike at the moment. Unless there was someone who witnessed it that we didn't see. But all right, should we get into it? Let's get into it. Oh, Pixis. It's been a while. Tarns, isn't it, as well? Yeah. Yeah. Armored Titan? Mm-hmm. Oh, but the Armored Titan knew that I couldn't get through the wall. Is my theory gonna play out here? <laughs> What's she looking at? <laughs> yes, the bestest of buddies. <laughs> 
Okay. You gotta have that trust in Erwin. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. I'm just as confused as Armin. It's really ironic. Yeah, moron. Interesting. Oh my gosh, so they're just like bringing him along. Ooh. What's wrong with him? He's not fully healed. Levi doesn't need to shout nah. to threaten anyone. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. He can just like look at them with that look. <laughs> oh, poor Sasha. <laughs> She's always been hungry. Yeah. <laughs> Just let her eat. <laughs> she is too much. Is she gonna go back here and find that they're not there anymore? I hope not. Kagirata Kankyo no Nakaja, Najimure ni Haiti, Stoto Kakaoti, Kankiria. They're gonna give up their home. Hedo na, Sasha. Sorito Shinju Suru Kakugo Arunka. That's the big question. Sasha. Bit, bit harsh. Yeah. <laughs> she an introvert. Oh, three years. Oh, no, massive footprints. Oh, what, what, what? Oh, what? A new village? <laughs> She's good on the horse. Yeah. Is that a titan chilling in there? It's got its ass out. What is happening? Hey. What is going on? Oh, why? Why are they gonna do it like this? Why are they gonna show it like this? Why is that kid just sitting there? What's it gonna do? What's it gonna yeah, do? Yeah, true. Or she? Okay, good. Oh, she's intervening. Oh, I hate the sound. Oh! Oh, crap. Oh, crap. She couldn't pierce it. He's still just chilling there, eating her. No, I feel this sick. Is, I feel sick. It's messed up. Had to leave her. Oh crap. Oh, this poor person. It's even creepier that they're smaller because it's more like human like. No! Why are you so nice when you talk? Is that what they said? Uh... They should have been prepped with their gear. None I of them know. had their gear. They had to just run out of there like so quick. Oh, 
and now they're like emotionally scarred for life. Seriously. Good, good, fall, die. She was brought up different. Oh. Why is she going to be so rude, this, this chick? Don't talk to Sasha like that. これが佐者が決めた佐者なんだから。いや。そのままの言葉でしょ。私はそれが好きだよ。あ、そうキュート。え、クリスタ <laughs> <laughs> What's she meant to do? Where's she gonna go? Maybe where there's more people? Oh, Sasha, be careful! Is if this the sacrificial music? If he kills my girl, I'm gonna be really upset. She's screwed, Carly. Okay, that's a good plan. Yeah, actually. yeah. Is her aim that good? Nice. Come on, come on. No. She got it? Yep. Oh, nice. Don't miss. She's gonna charge it. <laughs> yes! Okay, quick. Now run. Oh no. Oh. Yes, Sasha. So badass. Stupid horse. Oh. oh, it's her. Is it her dad? Yeah. Or whoever that was looking after her at the start. Or is yeah. it like a vision? Surely. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Small world. Oh, that's nice. Aww. Okay, this is the other, the other yeah. side of things here. Yeah. Well, the Titans came from here, so I'm expecting like nothing good. Uh, oh, it's all destroyed. Yeah. <gasps> He kind of did suspect the worst. Yeah. Last episode. Oh gosh. What is going on here? What is it doing? At his house. Oh crap. If it was dead, I thought it would have vaporized. Yeah, so... It's got like a super tiny arm? It's stuck, okay. Yeah, what the heck? Maybe it was the Beast Titan. Alright, that was a sweet episode. We got like a backstory to Sasha. One of our favorite characters from the first season. Yeah. And now it looks like we're moving on to Connie. Connie might get his episode next. Because, yeah, we didn't see too much of them in the first season. Maybe at, at the start we did. And then they sort of took a back seat. And it was more like, yeah. you know, Levi, Irwin, and, and the Levi squad. Yeah. And all exactly. that. So, this is great to learn a little bit more about these characters. Yeah, the show doesn't just, like, skim past characters and, like, just forget. 
Yeah. Like everyone is important somehow. Yeah. <laughs> Do we think it was the base Titan that threw that Titan no. at the end? No, because I don't think it was coming from that way. Yeah, I don't think so. But like there were a few clues with that Titan. So it was just like for all day, it was still moving or whatever. And it had like bones sticking out of it, really small arms. Why out of all the houses was it at on, Connie's house? At Connie's house, yeah. I'm not entirely sure, but we did see the Beast Titan was like a smarter Titan and was able to control the Beta Titans. And if they disregarded his order, he would mess them up. Yeah. So it could be another Titan like that. Yeah, possibly. It could have been him, but I don't know which way he came from. Mm. I think he did come from that yeah, way. Yeah, most likely. So it, what are you thinking? Are you thinking that... I don't know. I'm thinking it was like, it was something and it transformed into a Titan. From inside the house. Yeah. His, his mum was blonde. Oh. Yeah. You think it was his mum? Oh, no, I don't know. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to feed into your theory a bit. Crap. I don't know. I doubt it. We haven't seen anyone turn into a beta Titan yet. So yeah. This yeah, c- no. This could be the first clue. Mm-hmm. But what, what makes you think... Maybe because it was so specific on that house. Yeah. Okay. That and dis- how it was, um, like it was almost like a like a malfunction Titan, like it didn't work. Also- like it was going to turn into a Titan, but things went wrong, like its arms, legs, bones. Yeah. Also, the the show made a bit of a point about it. Like that's how the episode ended. And usually, when an episode ends a specific way, there's more to the scene that you just saw. Oh yes. <laughs> Yes. Okay, so we're thinking it's either uh, like a malfunction of a beta titan. Mm-hmm. We'll say of a beta titan transformation. Or the beast titan messed it up. Yeah. Before coming, because it disregarded the but order. But even if it did, um, the titans just regenerate. Mm-hmm. I should have paused it on that shot of it lying down on the house. Mm. Um. Yeah, it was in a very odd position, wasn't it? It did look a little bit odd. We'll, yeah. find, we'll find more about that. But also, it did look like episode. it had fallen onto the house and not, like, come from inside the house and then well, transformed that, that, out. That was my initial thought, that disobeyed orders and... You just chucked it. And the beast Titan messed it up. Still, we don't believe in coincidences in the show. Maybe it was, mm. but why Connie's house? Yeah, that was odd, wasn't it? Mm. Okay. We'll, we'll probably find out next episode. Yeah. Or next season. No, surely not. (laughs) Uh, That discussion that Sasha was having with her dad in the forest in that flashback um, was similar. It had similarities to what Sasha was saying to Mikasa about hunting. Because I was wondering why Sasha knew so much about hunting and animals. Oh, I forgot all about that. Yeah, it was in episode 20 or 21, something like that. Oh, okay. Or 22 when they had caught Annie. Yeah. And Annie did that scream, shout oh, thing. Oh, yes. Yes, you're right. Yeah, and Sasha was going on about... She said animals only make that noise. Yeah. I recognize it. It's for one reason, when they're completely helpless. Yeah, and now that we know that she's, you know, from the forest and, you know... Her way of life is so different. Yeah, her way of life is different. She knows about hunting. So that's how she had that knowledge that we saw in that episode, which is good to see... You know them tie up even the smallest thing, yeah, like that. That was that was good, especially for, especially for like such a beloved character like Sasha. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Let's talk about the wall at the start and Armin talking about it. Yeah. Okay. So was it the uh, season finale when we saw the Titan in the wall? We started to theorize like, what the heck is going on here? And I did mention that <laughs> maybe like a bunch of Titans just stood around in a circle and bit themselves and created the wall because that's what was needed at the time. Um, but, but there was no other theories around it. It was a dead end theory because I had nothing else to go off. There are no cracks in the wall um, and it's very suspicious. And he said, isn't it like ironic that Titans are protecting us from Titans? Yeah. So my, my theory might be somewhat right. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of feeding into my theory as well, though, that the smarter Titans aren't all bad and they're trying to do yeah. a good, good thing. Yeah. Also, the also the armored Titan had that knowledge. Yes. Because the armored Titan sprinted through the gate. Yeah. And at the time, I just thought maybe like the armored Titan can't run through the wall, but maybe he did have that prior knowledge. Maybe he was like, I can, but I sh- 
I, I can't because of the Titans in the wall. Yeah, so it's either that or he wasn't confident that he could go through the wall and the gate was the easier option. Yes. So it's one of those two options there. Yeah. Um, I need Pastor Nick to start to talk. Oh, Pastor the guy, Nick. The guy's pulling a rainer on me and a bird and he's just <laughs> mute. So annoying. I wonder which episode it's going to be where he just starts talking and starts, you know, giving us that knowledge that he's got. Yeah. Because I'm getting impatient. Maybe their, like, cult was started thousands of years ago and they forced people to to be protectors in the wall. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it was, like, really, like, um, forced upon these people, these poor people in the wall because I kind of do feel sorry for them. Mm. All lifeless and stuff. Yeah, that is quite interesting. I, I want to know... I know everyone wants to find out about these smart titans, their origins, exactly what it's about. I want to know more about the Beta Titans. Yeah? Yeah, because... Yeah, it's like... What? They're just dumb? Like, what? what's yeah, the deal with them? I, I don't understand. Maybe there's nothing to it. They did say in earlier episodes, like, what, they appeared or something, and... Yeah. They don't just appear. <laughs> there's something to them. Yes. I wonder when we're going to get that knowledge. I feel like we could be on the on the cusp of that, though, because of what just happened at the end of that episode. Okay. Malfunctioning Titan, Beta Titan. Yeah. Was Hanji examining the crystal from Annie's shell or was it the wall? She was examining something and she found something, but she didn't, she didn't speak up about it. She probably didn't have time. No, they always do that. But she seemed quite confident on the, on the carriage there. Yes. Unless Hanji just forgot about what she had just seen, which would be. I don't think so. Hanji is, um. Very passionate person. She is, she is. <laughs> Very excitable. <laughs> but she looked stressed in that moment, you know, when she made that little discovery, didn't she? She looked mm. a little shocked. She looked, you know, yeah. a little bit taken back. Yeah, okay. We've just realised that we were actually supposed to watch Arl's Notebook now, after episode one, instead of after episode two. So we're going to do that now, watch uh, Arl's Notebook. Um, and then and, put put some pieces together. Yes, and hope that it hasn't stuffed everything up too bad. Thank you so much for watching our reaction. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. It would really help us out. For early access to some of our videos, you can support us on Patreon if you'd like. And yeah, thank you so much again. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.